So as you might know, I'm from Denmark, but I got a hold of Wonder Bread. Yes, from America. Today, I'll make my version of Wonder Bread and compare it to the real deal. How are they gonna be different? Hi, I'm Sune and I'm a food geek. So my girlfriend went to the States and brought some things for me. Among those things were Fig Newtons, fresh bagels from New York City, King Arthur bread flour, and a bag of Wonder Bread. So I know Wonder Bread is highly processed and stays fresh for a long time, but I'd never seen it or tasted it. So I thought it'd be an interesting experiment. You know, like the time that Johnny Knoxville got kicked in the groin by a bunch of kids? Nah, this is probably worse. Okay, so a little background. Wonder Bread originated in the United States in 1921, made by the Taggart Baking Company, based in Indianapolis, Indiana. Its white color, soft texture, and marketing campaigns quickly made it very popular. However, in recent years, Wonder Bread has faced increasing competition from other brands of bread and healthier alternatives like whole wheat bread. As a result, sales of Wonder Bread has declined. Wonder Bread is made with enriched flour, fortified with additional vitamins and minerals. However, this refined flour composition lacks certain dietary benefits found in whole grain bread. Additionally, Wonder Bread has a higher glycemic index than whole grain bread, which can cause blood sugar levels to rise more quickly. The flour used for Wonder Bread is also treated with anti-staling and anti-molding agents that helps the bread stay soft and fungal free for much longer than you'd expect. It's worth noting that Wonder Bread still offers some essential nutrients due to the enrichment process. However, as dietary knowledge has evolved, there's now greater emphasis on consuming whole foods and natural sources of nutrients. So what's in Wonder Bread? Well, the ingredient list is as follows. Wheat flour, malted barley flour, niacin, reduced iron, thiamine monocitrate, thiamine mononitrate, riboflavin, folic acid, water, calcium carbonate, yeast, soybean oil, wheat gluten, salt, sodium sterile lactylate, calcium sterile lactylate, monoglycerides, diglycerides, distilled monoglycerides, calcium peroxide, calcium iodate, datum, ethoxylated mono and diglycerides, enzymes, ascorbic acid, monocalcium phosphate, yeast extract, modified cornstarch, sucrose, sugar, soy lecithin, choli calciferol, soy flour, ammonium sulfate, calcium sulfate, and calcium propionate. My homemade Wonder Bread will contain the following. Unbleached wheat flour, whole milk, unsalted butter, sugar, table salt, and instant yeast. First, I'll show you how to make homemade Wonder Bread, and afterward, I will compare the two. My bread will be soft and contain butter. Not because the original does, but because I think that's a prerequisite for sandwich bread. And it will have a longer shelf life than homemade bread usually has. Butter, milk, and sugar will help you get the luxurious feel, texture, and taste you want in sandwich bread. You may want to use less sugar if you're not from the States. For a longer shelf life, I've chosen to include a Tang Zong, Parts of the flour and the milk in the recipe are cooked, gelatinizing the starch in the flour. The process creates a network of starch molecules that trap water, making the dough elastic and less likely to break. Tang Zong also improves the flavor and texture of bread, making it softer and more chewy. If you'd like to support the channel, please consider joining my Patreon. You can also buy some merch, use the super thanks, or use the links for tools and ingredients in the description. Those were the words, this is the recipe. There's a link in the description to the recipe on my website. First, we need to make the Tang Zong. To a microwave safe bowl, add 35 grams or four tablespoons of all-purpose flour, 170 milliliters or five and three quarters fluid ounces of whole milk. Mix until the flour is dissolved. Microwave on high until the mixture reaches 65 degrees Celsius, 149 degrees Fahrenheit. Mix it until it's homogenous. 
to 210 milliliters of one scant cup of whole milk, add 25 grams or a quarter stick of melted butter. The entire Tang Zong, mix it. Check that the temperature is below 32 degrees Celsius, 90 degrees Fahrenheit. If it isn't, let it cool until it is. To a medium bowl, add 525 grams or 3 and 2 thirds cup of all-purpose flour. 25 grams or 2 tablespoons of sugar. 12 grams or half a tablespoon of table salt. 7 grams or a sachet of instant yeast. Combine all the dry ingredients. Then add the milk mixture and work it into the flour mixture. When it gets too dry, move the dough to the counter and knead it. You might not have to use all of the flour. Stop when you have a supple and nice dough, it should be tacky but not sticky. Put the dough back in the bowl and let it double in size, it takes about an hour. And flour your counter lightly. Add the dough. Then roll your dough out to about 22 times 35 centimeters, about 9 by 14 inches. Roll the dough up tightly from the shortest side. Then seal the ends. Spray or butter your pan. I'm using a small Pullman, 9 by 4 inches. And move the dough to the pan. Let it double in size, it takes about an hour. Then heat your oven to 180 degrees Celsius, 350 degrees Fahrenheit, with the fan on. Brush the bread with melted butter. Then put it in the oven. Bake for 40 minutes or until the bread is 90 degrees Celsius, 195 degrees Fahrenheit in the middle. Take the bread out and put it on a wire rack. Brush it with melted butter all over and let it cool. All right, if you're a regular here, this does not come as a surprise, but it's time to reveal the crumb. Now, wasn't that fun? Nice crumb though, right? Okay, time for the comparison. So the Wonder Bread is incredibly soft. The Home Baked Bread is also soft, but with a bit more heft. All right, let me taste the Wonder Bread. Hmm, 
well, it has a lovely texture, super soft. No taste at all, except for a slight tang, but not the good kind. It seems a bit off. Let me try the homemade one. Mmm, this tastes like bread, and that fantastic hint of butter is yummy. It's less soft, but not by a lot. I also toasted them to see what the differences would be. Wonder Bread first. This is nice. Still no actual taste, but the toasted texture is excellent. The homemade one? Wow, this toasts really well. Much crunchy, more taste, more better, you know? All right, I'm going a bit backwards today, but let me smell these. So that soundness that I detected in the taste of the Wonder Bread is also in the smell. Not sure what that's about. The home baked one smells like bread and butter. <laughs> what's, what's not to like about that? The toasted home baked has a delicious smell of browned bread. And the toasted Wonder Bread does not smell like much. Interesting. And now I'm going to eat it with butter. What are you going to do? 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 <laughs> so what's my verdict? Well, there's no doubt that Wonder Bread has an enticing texture. And I think besides the convenience of sliced bread, it's probably what's selling it. Homemade Wonder Bread just has so much more to offer. The taste and smell are just so much better. And while it's not the healthiest bread in the world, I'm sure it's better for you than factory made bread. It is, without a doubt, better for your soul. If you go for finely milled whole grain flour, you could level the healthiness and the taste. Remember, you're in charge. That's my take. So as you can probably tell, I'm not a huge fan of Wonder Bread, except for the exceptional softness. In this case, the bread is just a carrier of whatever things you want to eat on it. The taste of the bread itself is bland at best, and I love to have more taste for my bread. Will the homemade Wonder Bread satisfy a peanut butter and jelly connoisseur? No, probably not, but it's objectively a much better bread, both health-wise and taste-wise. That's my opinion. It's simple to make, even with the tang song. Let me know in the comments whether you're a Wonder Bread fan forever, or if you make your own sandwich bread. Start to comment with butter to get a priority answer from me. I hope you learned something today. See you next time. Cool.